Well, hello, my friends. I'm back again. I've gotten this all cleaned out. I've taken all of the uh, tomato little seedlings that you saw my dilemma of what on earth to do with all of these. You see a few uh, cocoons here. Not as many as I was seeing before I uh, had all these little seedlings here. And I'm not sure what surprises I'm going to find uh, in amongst all of this. I suspect I'm going to find the uh, paper towel down here somewhere that had the all the seeds on it. Because this is about where I had it. Oops. See, I'm getting worms already. I, I expect this to be really heavy in worms. I don't know where the paper towel would be. It should be right here. Unless the whole thing is just totally disintegrated in three weeks. Which, of course, you know, it's a paper towel. It could. But it had all of this on it. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about where that might be. But uh, three weeks ago uh, was when I fed the, um, it was like a strawberry slurry slush, and I put that down, and I had some, um, uh, uh, what else? I, oh, I know. I put in um, uh, cornmeal, and then I did ground Quaker's oats, and uh, eggshell, of course, and coffee grounds. But um, I watch um, Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and she has a really good channel if anybody is interested in uh, checking her out. And she's been doing it for a long time. Um, I've been doing it since 2009, but not to this extent. And I had a can of worms, and that was the only thing I did. Uh, you know, we all find out as time goes on that there's so many different ways of doing this including this little open bin, which is nothing more than a planter uh, that is waist high, which is just great for not having to bend over and, and do it. But this is my first time with this, where I just put in some, you know, I had a few worms and a few red wigglers, and they just kept multiplying and multiplying, and they've continued to multiply, and I've checked on them about once a week or so until, um, until I started having all these seedlings coming up, and then I thought, holy moly, I don't know what to do now. So anyway, I've pulled out some of the seedlings and put them in little pots, and we'll see how, where they go. But back to my, my little friendly worms here. I can feel, I mean, I can feel I'm hitting almost, like, uh, hard something. Like, I don't want to rip the worms in half, but I want to see what perhaps the um, strawberry slurry might have done. You can see there, they don't seem to be a worm ball, but boy, this is awfully heavy in castings. I mean, it, you, can feel the, you can feel the difference between uh, really dense castings and um, soil. The whole way along. The whole way along. I mean, it, it's almost packed in there. I'm afraid to... I to get that too. This is where I wish I had a cameraman so I could go over this whole thing with you and show you. You can see they're just, I mean, almost evenly divided. I'm going to show you this. Look how black that is. It's just really rich. I would have to really let that dry out. Look at those worms, how red they are. 
Come here, little fella. Girl. Both. And babies. Just massive amounts. I and, and I mean, look how clumping it is. I've. I'm not sure if I had to. Um, I was trying before to retrieve just some of the soil to pot things, and uh, it's been hard because I've had to kind of like go through and pick out the worms and look at this. This is just in. Loads and loads and loads. The whole way along. Can you imagine if you got all this in castings? This would be sweet. And then I would have to start again. And the way I started this was um, it probably um, eight, nine months, I think, ago that I started. Um, my friend was moving. And she wanted to know if I wanted these uh, pots, as she was calling them, planters. And I said, sure. So I took them home, cleaned them out. She had them on her, on her porch. And uh, here in Florida, uh, not only does our water kind of mark things, but uh, you can use what they call CLR, which is uh, calcium, lime, and rust. And it um, it kind of dissolves all of this stuff that might get into your into your um, reclaimed water. Uh, but anyway, uh, I had it and I had it all nice soil, and I couldn't get anything to grow here because I'm not getting enough quite enough sunlight, and so at one point, of course, it was had all kinds of nice castings in it along with um, miracle Grow potting soil but those castings of course had cocoons in them and I really wasn't seeing it and all of a sudden I started noticing all of these worms that were in my soil and I couldn't imagine where they would have come from well of course they came from the two four six eight whatever uh, whatever worms were in those castings and so they started to really populate this and uh, so I allowed it I wasn't going to pick out any of these worms and so as time went on this miracle grow potting soil really turned into these beautiful castings I'm going to move this one thing so I can get to the corner over here and show you. And I mean, these worms are just, because it's a cloudy day, I think no one is racing for the bottom. And also because I had the uh, little seedlings here, I really wasn't watering it deeply. But I was watering it deeply prior to that, so I don't know if the, the castings have just really clumped up. Imagine adding this to your garden. Ooh, sweet. I would guess there's a, I don't know, somewhere between 500 and 1,000, just from what I'm seeing in every little, it's like there's a raisin in every bite. You know, there's a chocolate chip and I'm trying to fluff it to make it a little bit higher on my worms here. They're everywhere. Lots of wormies. I'm not seeing as many cocoons before when I was coming out. And I was seeing um, just cocoons, cocoons everywhere. Every day I would see more and more and more. Very healthy worms. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the way things were. There's another cocoon. 
and use this as a worm bin versus anything else. And just level it all off. And, you know, for people who might have any kind of anxiety with what's happening in the world, um, may I suggest you get a worm bin and just fluff and massage, fluff and massage, because this is truly a re very relaxing hobby. There's another. So, what are we going to add first? What do you say? Let me get rid of this. Um, I have, uh, this is ground, uh, this is ground cornmeal and uh, ground, and it was a heavier uh, uh, cornmeal. And then I took uh, Quaker's oats and I ground those. This is all done in my coffee grinder, so I don't think you need a special grinder for this. So I'm just going to lay that down first. I did this before. I'm, I'm, I think this is the second time I've I'm sorry, I think this is the third time I've done this, and I'm wondering if possibly this is why it's it's feeling so sticky, other than the fact that uh, there's so many castings in here that uh, for anybody who has ever changed baby diapers, you know, they're sticky. <laughs> Not to be gross, but they're sticky. Uh, then I'm going to put this, uh, I did this in my Nutribullet, and it is, uh, kale that I have growing, and I took the kale, and, you know, sometimes kale, any of those cruciferous vegetables that when you, you put them in your, um, you put them out, uh, whether it's in your compost pile, or whether it's in your worm bin, or wherever you put it, or if you feed it to old Uncle George, um, they, they can have their own little stinky smell to them. And so anyway, I would rather my stinky smell be out here on the porch. Oh, and then here's some coffee grunts. But I'd rather have uh, old Uncle George smell out here versus in my, just off my kitchen, which is where my can of worms is. And I'm just going to cover this over. I'm not even going to add any bedding to it. I just want to. I just want to get them back to being used to uh, the world as it was. More cast, more cocoons. And so there you have it. I think we're back to scratch. And uh, this is the seventh uh, of April. I promise to bring you back maybe on the 14th and we'll see if the worms have decided that they really like the way this is set up and uh, I'm guessing that all of this will have disappeared and I'm hoping to see more uh, cocoons laying on top because I really would like to get these are my two little uh, shoe boxes that I uh, reconfigured with, I'm sorry, re redid with the uh, thin nylon versus the uh, screen. So uh, we'll set up maybe a couple new experiments and see where we go with that. But uh, anyway, I think one would be fun if it was a cocoon nursery because those are always fun, aren't they? I mean, when we first see the first wisp, you know, moving along, it's like, oh wow, babies. So anyway, it's, um, as I said before, it's kind of a gloomy day. We're getting ready for some rain, and I've heard some uh, thunder out there. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a good shower, and uh, everything will uh, get a good drink. So, garden what you've got. I hope to see you back here very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.